Ever thought you could tone and sculpt your obliques without lifting weights? Well, the answer is yes. Practicing yoga is a great way to tone the sides of your body. You can just roll out your yoga mat and try these next couple of asanas. Your posture will definitely improve with regular practice and you'll also begin to see that definition around your abdomen region. Keep in mind that consistency is key. Your posture will definitely improve and you'll also see definition in your abdomen region with regular practice. I'm here to help you sculpt your obliques with the help of these easy yoga poses. Today I will be showing you a couple of poses. The first one for today being Konasan or straddle band with reach. Asanas like this are highly effective. Not only does this strengthen your core muscles, but it also works on the legs, the back and the glutes. Do not perform this asana if you have injuries in your legs, lower back or groin. This pose is also not suitable for pregnant women as it may be a little too deep of a twist than that is advised. Let's begin with the asana. Place your left hand down on the floor, keeping your legs as wide as you're comfortable with your toes parallel to each other. From here, you're just going to open up your right arm up towards the ceiling, coming into a twist. Make sure to create length in the waist and in the entire spine as you twist. You should be able to feel the expansion of your chest and we'll stay here breathing for about three to five breaths. Now slowly, you're just going to lower the top arm down and raise the opposite one up, holding for three to five breaths and then repeating each time for up to five times. Our second posture is Uddhita Parvakonasan or extended side angle pose. The extended side angle pose works on strengthening the leg, knees and the ankles. If you have high blood pressure, practice this pose under someone's guidance or at a lower intensity. Now, let's begin with the asana right away. Start in your warrior pose, Virbhadrasan, second variation. Drop the front arm towards the front thigh, reach the top arm over your head, keeping your bicep next to your ear. Ensure that your front thigh is parallel to the floor by creating a right angle with the front knee. Avoid putting too much weight on your bottom arm. Keeping the core engaged, slightly rest the weight on the leg. Now from here, reach the bottom arm up as well, trying to join your palms and make a namaste, engaging the sides of the body. You can now add a slight rotation of the chest by trying to look up, as if you're trying to get your lungs to face up towards the ceiling. Hold this posture for about 5 breaths or longer if you can and then switch sides doing the same thing in the other direction. The last pose for today is my favourite, Vashisthasana or side plank. This pose strengthens the arm and while it's also very challenging on the balance, it improves your overall posture. This asana is not recommended if you are pregnant or have undergone a surgery on your abdomen, shoulders, knees or hips. As you begin the side plank pose, Push yourself up into a high push-up position, pressing into your palms. Keeping your right hand on the floor, you're just going to drop both the heels towards one side and then extend the left arm up towards the ceiling. Make sure that you're keeping your hips lifted up. If you need more stability, you can always drop the bottom leg down to find an easy balance. Breathe deeply while extending your left arm in the air and lifting the hip. Hold this posture for about 5 to 10 breaths coming back to your push-up position and then changing sides. If you're a beginner, just to make sure that your alignment is correct. Until then, keep following us and I'll see you next time. Namaste and goodbye.